Hey folks, I'm Karel here from Data Doosers, and today I'm going to show you how to implement navigation actions in QuickSight. We have other videos about actions like URL actions and filter actions. You can check those in our QuickSight playlist. There are a lot of cool stuff that you can do with actions. Particularly, navigation actions will allow you to navigate to different sheets and by doing that you can pass filters or parameter values to control what you're going to see on those sheets that you will be navigating to. So what we want is to trigger an action from our map that is going to take us to a different sheet in our dashboard with vaccination data. So our users from right here in map, besides going to the CDC website to check the travel restrictions that each one of the country has, they also are going to be available to see the vaccination progress of the country that they wish to. So for that, I created another sheet in our dashboard, which is very easy to do. If you want to see how we created this sheet in particular, or as well as the entire dashboard that we're using as a base for this video, you can check the video on the link on your screen and follow along with us there. And just to talk a little bit about what we have here is this visual type, uh, Word Cloud, that contains all the different country names and the size is given by the people fully vaccinated. This KPI is showing you the percentage of people fully vaccinated out of the world population and this one is showing you the total of people fully vaccinated. While this visual right here is showing the trend of both the vaccination and the new cases. So you can compare how these two metrics correlate in a time axis. A quick comment about this sheet in particular is that it is not created to be looked at straight from here without any filters. This is a support analysis. And the objective of this in our use case is only to be rendered with a filter by country. Why? Because in these three visuals, these numbers are not going to be correct for the entire world. Because, for example, for the people fully vaccinated metric, we have to use a max. But if we use a max here, this is only going to return the max value that we have in our data set. And that is aggregated by day and country. So this value right here is going to show you the max value of the people fully vaccinated for one particular country. So this is not going to reflect the people fully vaccinated worldwide. And that's the same case here in the bars where we are showing the same exact metric. And of course, the same thing is going to happen here. This is not going to represent the entire world. Now, this is going to make sense when you have a filter by country, for example, Let's add a quick action and also this is going to work as a recap. Filter, quick action, and if we look at this now for the United States, then these numbers are going to be correct. So you're going to have the cases of the United States. In this case, it's going to be incremental. You have 66 million, which is the same value that you have here, and then the comparison is going to be performed correctly here. So if you don't have a country filter applied in this worksheet, then these numbers are not going to be correct. That's exactly our use case. We want to come to this sheet with a country filter pass by that we're going to generate from our map using a navigation action. So let's go ahead and let's do that. So if we come to our main worksheet, we want to trigger that action from our map. So if we come to actions here, we're going to see that we already have the filter action as well as the URL action that is going to be triggered as a menu option. So we're going to create a new one. And this is going to be of type navigation action. And if you see now, you have the option to choose which is the target sheet. In this case, since we're triggering from this sheet, we are going to target the vaccination tracker sheet. So that's the one we're going to choose. Now, all we can do is add a parameter. 
that we don't have at this point in time. I just want to explain very quickly why we need a parameter and the reason is because we are going to grab a value from this visual that is going to be our country and we're going to pass that value to our vaccination tracker sheet and there we have to make an action with that country. So we need a parameter which is kind of like a wild card as we explained before to hold that value that temporary country value that we're going to extract from our map we need to hold it there so that then we can apply the value that that parameter has into our target sheet. So let's create that parameter and we're going to name it country name. It's going to be of type string and it's going to have a single value every time. So I'm going to create it and now that my parameter exists I'm going to come back to the actions and I'm going to add this parameter here. It's going to be country name and the value is going to be country with dash. So it is country with dash because we need this for the URL action. So instead of the country that come in our data set, we had to set up this calculated field, but for this purpose, it's going to work the same because this is going to be a row calculated field. So it's going to be the same. So that's what we're going to select there. And we're going to add that. We're going to name this action like that and then we're going to save our action so let's see how that works so if we come to the united states and we right click on it now besides c travel suggestions which is the url action then we'll see that we have the option to see vaccination trend and if we click on that that is going to take us to this worksheet that worked well but we need now to configure this worksheet so that the filter by country that we're bringing in that parameter from our map gets applied here. For that, all we need to do is add a filter and we're going to add that one for country with dash, which is the value that our parameter is going to have. We're going to say that we want to apply this filter to all the visuals in this worksheet and our filter type is going to be a custom filter. Is going to be equal to our parameter which we're going to select country name which is the parameter that is going to have that country from the map when the action is triggered so we're going to apply that and now we see that this changed to show only United States and now you can see that we used a cloud tag not for the visual itself but just to show the name of the country that we have selected at that point in time. So remember that this sheet is defined to be open with that filter on. So ideally, instead of a work cloud, what you will see here is the country name that you have selected when you triggered the action to get here, right? So that's the idea. And these are the correct numbers for the United States. You have the percentage of population fully vaccinated for this country, which is 20% as well as the people fully vaccinated, the trend, and of course the country name there. So let's see now if this works straight from our action. So let's see Brazil, right click on Brazil, see vaccination trend, and now you have Brazil's data here. So you have completely different numbers here, completely different trends. You have your name highlighted there, which by the way, you can also add here in the title or subtitle since we have that parameter already but it's going to have a dash in the middle so you probably don't want to do that but we have this card showing the country that we have and that's great and so that's it that's how navigation actions work as you already learned you have to use a parameter to hold the value that you're going to extract from the visual that you're going to be triggering the action from and pass that value then to a different uh, sheet now we have covered the three type of actions that you can set up in QuickSight. The three of them are very useful. So now it's up to you to put this to work and adapt that to your workflow. I hope this video was useful to you. If you like our content, please uh, like and subscribe to our channel so that you can keep up to date with the content that we publish here about data, data engineering and data visualizations. 
Thank you. See you around.